In recent years, piercings and tattoos have become extremely popular in the mainstream culture. Body modification is the deliberate alteration of the body for non-medical reasons such as rites of passage, aesthetic reasons, religious reasons and to show self-expression. The top 7 trending piercings right now are Smiley, Conch, Dyth, Septum, Tongue and Navel. My name is Sir Glenn. I got uh, one tattoo. The one I got now, uh, it's uh, peak group pressure, I would say. Not, not in a sort of um, any bullyish sort of way, but uh, we, a group of us all had the same tattoo. We'd done the same sort of things. We were into motorbikes and what have you, the, you know, teenagers, and uh, we thought it would be a good idea to have a tattoo. I can't say really that um, I've got an opinion. Um, yeah. It depends on, on how extreme the piercings and the tattoos would be, I should imagine. But I suppose people are entitled to have or express themselves in any way they see fit. If it involves having tattoos and um, not piercings, then they've also got to be aware of the other perceptions, the people, perceptions of other people, you know, with regard to how others may sort of perceive them, not just the way they perceive themselves. I have five piercings. I have my stretchers, my nose ring, my septum, my medusa and my belly button pierce. I got my piercings <laughs> because I like the way they look and I think they make you look a bit different to everyone else. I have never encountered any negative opinions yet. The art of body piercing has been around for as long as there have been people. It is a popular practice worldwide. I'm Natalie, I'm a professional body piercer and I've been for the past 10 years. Um, I've always loved body piercings and body mods since I was younger and I had the opportunity to do an apprenticeship so I took the chance up. Body mods really interest me because it makes people stand out a bit more from everyone else like when you dye your hair and stuff like that, it makes you different to everyone. In Korea, having a tattoo is highly looked down upon due to the fact that it is normally linked with being in a gang. The tattoo scene in North Korea doesn't really exist, but it is not uncommon. It is, however, illegal to give or receive a tattoo in North Korea unless you are a certified doctor. Most of the tattoos that are given by anyone besides a doctor are commonly done underground or discreetly at someone's house. The South Korean government views tattoos the same way as North Korea. People from New Zealand have a completely different opinion towards body modifications than people in Korea. The Maori are indigenous people that originated in New Zealand. They have a form of body art known as moko, but are more commonly referred to as Maori tattooing. The art form was brought to the Maori form and is considered highly sacred. Since the Maori people considered the head to be the most sacred part of the body, the most popular kind of Maori tattoo was the facial tattoo, which was composed of curved shapes in a spiral-like patterns. Often this tattoo covered the whole face and was a symbol of rank, social status, power and prestige. Women wear moko on the face too. A woman's moko was worn on the chin as well as occasionally appearing on the forehead, upper lip, nostrils and throat. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are, people will always have differing opinions on body modifications. 